Yeah, maybe in the future you don't need to play your iOS games on iPhone or iPad. You can just run it on the MacBook. Yes, you didn't hear it wrong. Apple just released the latest MacBook. They call Apple Silicon Mac. Apple Silicon Mac is the MacBook that runs on Apple designed chip. Uh, they just released today. It's called M1 chip. It's different from Intel CPUs. It's different from uh, AMD CPUs. It's a CPU they designed by Apple. So that's awesome. Uh, I mean, awesome or not, I'm not really sure because uh, if you are a programmer, you probably will encounter some issue. Not every library will be compa compatible to the M1 chip. It takes time to integrate. But if you are a gamer, you probably will be interested, especially if you are mobile gamers. I know now, now there are a lot of mobile gamers out there. They want to, uh, they play a lot of uh, mobile games. And a lot of people even running like emulator, mobile emulator, um, the desktop to play mobile games. And now Apple allows you to really run the mobile games natively on the Mac, on the Apple Silicon Mac. Uh, I think that's a great thing. Even I'm, I'm a little bit tempted to buy that because I. But uh, a concern is I personally also use my Mac to write code. That's a problem. I don't want to write code on the Apple Silicon Mac. I don't. I, I'm not really sure the compatibility of a lot of libraries with uh, the M1 chip, which usually takes time, takes a year, takes years to integrate. Yeah, I can imagine when I install some libraries, then maybe will be a lot of problems. I don't want to deal with that. So that will be the reason I I, I won't buy the Apple Silicon Mac. Even it's tempting uh, in terms of gaming, mobile gaming. But I will still not buy. So yeah, if you're a programmer, you probably need to, you probably want to wait. If you're a gamer, mobile gamers, you probably can go ahead. Uh, but for sure, that's uh, the first generation. Uh, not really sure what will happen. Usually something will happen and uh, they, they need to spend time to fix. This is how the, how, how this kind of big update work, right? Uh, it's just harder to make it really, really smooth, uh, this transition. But this is a big transition. Um, yeah, it's just in the future, there will be three types of, uh, at least three type three three kind of big brands for CPUs Intel AMD and uh, Apple that probably will be interesting to see what will really happen and uh, yeah that's kind of a uh, all the news I want to update you today and if you would like to receive more content like this don't forget to subscribe and uh, other than that take care I will see you next time.